How y'all doing? So, today I uh, talked with a lawyer. We're waiting on getting all the paperwork set up so I could pay off the house. Not going to be as quick as I thought, so uh, probably be a couple weeks. They got to review everything, um, see if they found something or not. But they said there's a couple of things they just want to take a closer look at. Which, Wells Fargo has been known to screw some things up. Hopefully everything's good though. Um, you can tell behind me with the trailer, I got a load of doors taken. I've, I've made, it's my second trip, uh, trailer load of stuff, getting out of the warehouse. Um, went through the storage units and just made like loops this morning and got um, one storage unit loaded down with one stuff. Another one with all the um, side lights and leaded glass and all the other thing, kind of like the accessories. And then the big storage unit I'm having with just the doors. So, traffic is really weird right now. Like people are just doing really dumb things. Um, the Dodge van, the one I called Mr. Nasty Time, uh, sold that. The guy who bought the, the uh, Monster, he came back and bought that wanted to use it for parts so that's now uh, it's not gone yet um, he said he was going to have the record company but he gave me the money for it got a bill of sale I gotta find a title for it I got it somewhere so I'm gonna whenever I find it I'll, I'll call him up um, either I'll drive to him or drive uh, he's in Middleburg so I might drive somewhere close to him or if he comes over here um, I'll pick him up some barbecue or something but just tired, just been going, and I kind of stopped for a minute and um, sat down and was kind of watching a couple things. Um, I don't know. Just almost fell asleep, so I was like, you know what? Better hurry up and get this last load over. And it, the hell, people? People doing some crazy things around me. Um, I'm sorry. It was just there's a guy on a bike in front of me that's just I don't know. I think he's thinking about driving down the center row and there he goes. Yep. <laughs> you know how you just look at somebody and say, "Yeah, you're about to do something." Um Yeah, I'm going to get this last load put in the storage unit. I still got room for I think about four more loads. And then I'm hunting that window um which I know where it's at. I just got to get to it and there's a lot of stuff in front of it so I'm going to work on that throughout uh, tonight and um, not a very glamorous day today nothing really happened other than I sold another truck um, and then I'm going to finish working on it I did get one section like really nice but then I had to empty the other van and fill it all back up so yeah it wasn't just <laughs> like you know, I'm glad I didn't do the before and after picture. Now I need to do the before and after picture because I got a whole nother van load of stuff that I emptied out. And I had to drill out the back uh, door lock. So, but, and then the Ford, I've already made up my mind that once I'm out of the flea market, I'm putting the Ford up for sale. I'm just going to put a number on it, put it on Facebook, you know. But it runs and drives fine. There's a little misfire that keeps popping up. But it's only at certain speeds, so I'm gonna put a good fuel additive in there and kind of. When they did the fuel filter and reset the code, everything seemed to be fine, and then all of a sudden it started again and the code popped up. So uh, my mechanic's gonna look at it, but I'm gonna put some uh, some fuel additive and you know uh, some cleaner in it, just kind of make sure it's not some little speck of dirt or something. If you saw the motorcycle guy, but he is just not giving a shit right now. He's driving up the center line in between cars. And I guess he'd get pissed off if someone, uh, you know, didn't give him room. Anyways, um, yeah. That's all that's happening. I'm going to grind tonight and uh, 
tomorrow I'm going to go take care of the sealant over at, uh, for the windows, just kind of double check everything. Um, I was going to go out to the flea market, but I think I might just come back and keep grinding on the warehouse and I want to get that uh, set up because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and do a counter offer on my offer. So all the steer, all the, um, the vehicle specific stuff, all the um, installation kits, all that stuff, I'm just going to throw at one guy for a stupid low number. If he takes it, he takes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. So. I mean, I can always sell it on eBay. It just, that's not going to be till next year. And I kind of just want to get the stuff going. But I will be going out there Friday. So I don't think I got anything else going. So, and then I got one customer who wants me to do a front door and some windows. Which I really don't want to. In fact, it's actually my ex-girlfriend's sister, of all people. So. But... If she goes and buys everything at Lowe's and then I just go install it later, that's that's the only way I'd do it. I'm not building no doors right now. Not, I, I had even drill bits trying to drill out the back door. Man, I spent probably 20 minutes just looking for drill bits. I don't know where none of my stuff is. And I, it's just so aggravating. I mean, could you imagine, you know, just... Like, let's say you're living in your house, and you say, okay, inside is your car keys, your cell phone, all this stuff. Oh, by the way, I just took in 200 totes and dumped it all over the place. Good luck finding what you want. You know, that's the life I'm living right now. And if, uh, if any one of the people watching this is a hoarder, change your ways, man. Dude, I am doing it. And it, things are really happening. I mean, I'm... I'm glad that a lot of things are um, going away. In fact, what I pulled out of the van, there's probably like four boxes of stuff. I'm like, what the hell was it in there? I'm just throwing it away. But I can't throw it away because all my trash cans are full and the city's not dumping trash right now. So, yay. So I'm just going to, I got a bunch of um, trash bags and uh, I'm just going to load them up and set them out by the trash and say, here you go, city. Or someone might take it. Hell, I don't know. But yeah. Usually, let's see, that's seven minutes. And I started halfway down south side. Usually, I can drive all the way here in about seven minutes. That's how bad the traffic is. So. Oh, and. Got my new. Got my new business cards made up. That's from the little sign company. Not the best work I've seen. I'm definitely not going to uh, drop their name and reference to go use them. So the guy that I used to use did phenomenal work, but he closed down, sold out to another company who kind of absorbed him and all his clients. And they're all the way over on the west side, so I'm not about to drive over there to get cards. He said, oh, you can just send everything by email. And I'm like, dude, when have I ever emailed you in the 20-some years we've been doing business? He goes, never. I was like, well, you just lost a customer. So, but anyways, that's, that's me being a little pissed off at the world right now. But I'll find someone else. I'll just drive around, find some little hole-in-the-wall sign company and say, hey, you want some work? Actually, I know some people, but they're just more expensive than I'd normally want to deal with. Damn, the traffic is horrible. Alright, but I'm... Ooh, Lamborghini. That's a VT uh, Roadster Diablo. Ain't seen one of them in a minute. But I'm going to go and offload these here. Um, get all this taken care of and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow I might just go ahead and do a, um, like an in the shop video. And just kind of, so y'all can see all this stuff. I don't know if it's going to be just conversating or if it's going to be me just moving stuff. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm out. Peace, love, money. I'm out.